Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. It's currently 4.18am. Today's video is, I'm speaking quiet as well because the boys are still asleep. Today's video is my life as my 18 year old self following my training in the swimming diet. If you guys didn't know, and if you didn't know, I used to be a full time competitive swimmer. So I used to swim for GB, swam for England, internationally, all around the world. Train nine times a week, crazy sessions. I'm up at 4.15 because I used to train twice a day. I used to go to the pool in the morning and I used to go up at 4.15 it took me a while to get there. However, today's a little bit different because I am going to a pool today and do a two hour session. I'm also doing a weight session. I'm doing 100 burpees, stretching mobility, and everything like that. The pool that I'm going to in Lanzarote is an outdoor pool, and the guy who owns it, who I've spoken to, has warned me not to train twice because it is so cold. I have to train at midday. So it kind of mixes up the day a little bit because, like, in terms of food as well, like, I've got like my breakfast and post-workout and pre-workout. I have a breakfast now. literally feel physically sick, the thought of having my, my breakfast now, but you know, we move on. Usually, when I was a swimmer, I would have my breakfast in the car, have Weetabix on the way to morning training. I'd get there, I'd do 15 minute cardio, I'd do lab work, I'd do a two hour session. <sighs> and I'd go straight to college, so. Breakfast number one, Weetabix, Weetabix of eating now makes you want to be sick but you couldn't eat before your session like you've got a two hour session the other issue is oh my god i usually have dairy free milk at home and now i have on zarotti i have full on cow's milk oh i might have some in the fridge let me check i've got oat milk i don't know if it's like gone off though it's gone off fucking oh no thank you no food poisoning today bit of honey. I think I actually used to have sugar. I think I used to have white sugar. I think my total calories today, by the way, are somewhere near 3,500. Bear in mind, I was so active. <sighs> Cheers. Oh, that milk is gross. Don't forget how nice wheat your is. The plan would be now to get in the car, drive to Manchester, which takes like 45 minutes from where I live with my parents. Before I could drive as well, my mum would take me. Absolute legend. I tend to sleep in the car a lot of times as well, because obviously it's like the middle of the night, isn't it? Realistically. So I'm going to try and stay up now. And just like, you got to go for a walk when it's a bit lighter. Look how dark it is. That, that was not a black screen. That is how dark it is outside, so it's more dangerous. If I go on a walk now, so I'm just going to stay up. I'm going to edit this half of the video to keep me awake. I'm trying to do my old me. It is 7am. I went to get myself a little bit more ready. Bed is awake. Just making us a coffee. So this is one thing I never actually used to have. I never ever had coffee. But after my session, so my big breakfast, which I used to get from Starbucks, I used to get a caramel venti coffee with an extra shot with whipped cream with fruit toast and a ham and cheese croissant. So me and Cal are gonna go and find somewhere where I can replicate that because there's no Starbucks here. I'm gonna have my coffee, I'm gonna finish doing some work. I'm still yawning. Why am I still yawning? Nothing ever comes to me yeah, in a steady stream. But you gotta keep on going. You gotta live that dream. You got any words for your future self? Get it. Get it. Get after it. Love it. Let's go. Oh, it's hard. How was it, mate? Hard. We've got to swim. 
How old are you when you're training like this? 18. 18. Well, no, from the age of like 16 to 18, it was fully like this. Two sessions a day when I was like 14, 15. It's like seven sessions a week, not nine. But I mean, seven's bad enough. Pull ups. Oh, this session is just so like a mixture of like well what we used to do is like plyo stuff that's transferable to so the pool squats jump squats pull ups dips metal slams it's all transferable whereas now I don't do that so it's hard What's your name? Lucy Davis. No, what's your real name? No, no, no. <laughs> That's Nobody good. Nobody will know. that like once a week we used to do a jump test so we used to have a mat that we used to jump on because your jump squat is transferable to diving off the block so we got measured on our jumps but gym's done session would have been on the screen in the bio you go for a swim so we have just been to the gym we've just come straight to the pool i am ready so what we used to do is around 15 minutes land work which is essentially like banded stuff which i don't have a band but just general like warming up so i'm gonna film a bit of that for you just to let you know they're in wetsuits okay <laughs> it is freaking freezing that pool is freezing cold we're gonna do a two hour session i have kind of written a session in my head because if not, I just went up and down aimlessly for two hours, which I won't want to do. So I'm going to do some land work, and then obviously we have 100 burpees, and then stretching. costume anymore I have a bear in mind I had this when I was 16 years old well this is what I used to look like all the time <laughs> this was me for eight years of my life get some naughty goggle lines joking <laughs> put your hand in that <laughs> they are taking the notes <laughs> oh Carl it's a <laughs> Come on, that's it. When was the last time you did this? Last time I did off the block was when I quit. Really? Yeah. So what's that, six years? Yeah. It's freezing. <laughs> Lucy, 50 meter check-in. How's it going? And my lips blue. Cal, it is so f***ing It's like being in the Antarctica. I can't breathe. So that's why these guys have got wetsuits on. I'm not going to make Cal sit here and film me for two hours and also I just keep moving because it's freaking so cold. I would film some different strokes for you so you guys can actually see me. Because I used to do 200 IM. So you can see me doing different strokes.
just need some kick. I've done 37 minutes and I'm still freezing. Am I blue? You're not as brown as you were when you got in, I'll tell you that one. How am I not? Hands are blue. Yeah, yeah cold, it is cold. cold and it's like, oh, it's hard to get warm. Oh my days. I've got pneumonia. It, like, I can't, like, at my, I can't see or not cold. Look at my toes. I am gonna get back in, but like I think it's semi dangerous. Like, you can vouch me, Cal. Yeah, yeah, I can't yeah. see. So cold. No, literally. <sighs> get back in the pool, mate. I can't get back in. Yep. Two, one. Lucy, it was all going so well. What's happened? Welcome to the body shaking. What the fudge? I physically. What? I've done an hour. I could so easily do two, but my body, it's like my core body temperature is so down. I feel physically ill, I'm so cold. I'm doing a gym session classes. And I'm so cold, can't get back in. I'm going to do 100 burpees because that's, I don't know why we used to do it. Our coach always made us do 100 press or burpees like after every session. So I'm going to just get out of the shower in about five minutes once I'm like super warm and then do 100 burpees. I feel like my core temperature is still probably way down. Probably should not have swum in that pool as long as I did considering it was so cold. I didn't do as much as I wanted to do. So we're going to do 100 press up burpees. I, it wasn't something we did after every session, but it's something we did after a lot of sessions, obviously. I've already done a weight session today that you have seen. That would usually be after a nighttime session. I'm obviously not doing a hundred full stop. No, it's not. <laughs> So, did a little bit of stretching, have my protein shake, have my pot of cottage cheese. Don't ask why I did that, I don't even know why I did that because I was already having a protein shake which happened. And then we're going to go and get that monster breakfast. like chocolate protein and then also my cottage cheese has also been devoured which is actually dead nice so we're now off for breakfast number two because i had my wee bix this morning and my breakfast used to be like a thousand calories on the way to college i don't know why it just was i was just saying to cal because i'd usually do two sessions a day i'm gonna go for some sort of run just to replicate it i don't know i'll do like a 5k or something just to replicate like a second session so i will see you at breakfast so we've just got back from the pool we were gonna go to that little cafe but it was completely shut so we drove to the shop bought a croissant bought ham and cheese bought fruit toast this is the best thing we could get to a caramel coffee it's not as big as i used to have i used to have the huge ones and the toast is a bit small but i've covered it in butter so this is breakfast number two it's what i always used to have i had no choice on the way to college i kind of just had to get like carbs in me x y and z I'm gonna have this then i'll have my lunch and then i'm gonna go for a run to kind of compensate for a second session and then i ha -ha, will see you at lunch so this is lunch it's kind of representative of what i had at college we had these like big ass chicken wraps but they had like kfc chicken they weren't the best these are probably better but the ones at college were huge so i've made two this one's got cheese and chicken and loads of the shit and this one also has cheese and chicken but this one has feta cheese i also have a belvita we used to have nutri grains they didn't sell them here so belvita is gonna have to do this is my lunch i'm gonna let it settle then i'm gonna go for a run the weather is crap outside but i'm gonna go for a run because i said i want to do two sessions a day and then i think we have a post-workout snack again and then i don't know what's going on well 5k time i've not really had enough time for my food to settle but that's all right 5k i'm, gonna, I'm just gonna do 5k i actually need to set it on strava because the watch is inaccurate Strava. good three two oh it started <laughs> Line is brutal. Like running's bad enough after today, and then you've got an incline. I feel like I'm gonna throw up my wraps.
Ah. No, no. I had the worst stitch. Yeah, yeah cause like the first 2.5 is an incline. <gasps> That was 25 minutes, which is all right. I kind of wanted to go quicker, but when I get stitched, I feel absolutely distraught. <gasps> I can't breathe. And I hate doing bad on a run. It pisses me off, but I feel like 25 minutes is all right for 5K post swim. It's all right, I'm all right. Hello. This one's vanilla. Well, it's quite sickly actually. Anyway, we don't have like proper protein out here, so I've had to pick up some weird shitty cans from the supermarket. I'm gonna have this. I'm gonna drink this dead soak. It's actually been making me feel really sick. And he's gone get a shower. And then I think I've actually got quite a chill day. Like the thing is, like when I was swimming like this, I was in college full time. Like full time college, full time A levels, GCSEs. So I have been working all day, so I feel absolutely shattered. I've done like over 1,100 calories, which is quite a lot. I probably done more. I did two sessions than I did two hours swim. But I'm gonna have my protein shake. Oh my god, my mouth is literally sweating. I'm so sorry. I love. <clears throat> like I've jumped in the pool. <laughs> so I'm gonna go for a shower and I'll catch you soon. So this is literally the swimmer's meal. Shit loads of pasta, tomato sauce and broccoli. Like I think I've made too much pasta, but then again, I always remember in my head having so much pasta all the time. I've then found a pasta cheese, which we're gonna kindly add in a, whoa, in a mass quantity to my dinner. And I also forgot, and this is one thing I only just remembered whilst cooking my dinner. I used to have like half a block of malt loaf with butter on the way to training. So I've just been like scrambling on like two or three Belvitas throughout the day as well to compensate. Well, nice, but I'm gonna enjoy my pasta bowl. I'm not gonna lie, I'm struggling to finish this bowl of pasta and I've also eaten all my sauce, so it's like dry pasta now. I'll help you. That's cheating. What are you doing? Well, this is my third Belvita and I just thought, mmm, yogurt time. This is normal for me. It's what I used to have anyway. I didn't used to have fruit in it, but come on now. Mm. Also, I don't know if anyone else does this, but does anyone else just not use a chopping board? Wow, Calamando just ate my apple. This is how you chop apples. This is the day in the life of a swimmer, kind of. It's actually really realistic in terms of everything that I did, what I ate and stuff like that. I'm gonna eat my yogurt. I'm still full for my past. I think it's expanded in my stomach. I hope you have a great day, evening, whatever in the world. Give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.